I want to show you how you can use Solver in Google Sheets to find the minimum variance portfolio. So if you have a two stock portfolio, you have an expected return, which is just a weighted average of the expected returns of each stock, and a portfolio variance that's equal to the weight in A squared times the variance of A plus the weight in B squared times the variance of B plus two times the weight in A times the weight in B times the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B times the correlation between A and B. You can also substitute um, sigma A, sigma B, rho A, B and use the covariance between A and B. And if you take the square root of that, you get the standard deviation. So the minimum variance portfolio, we're actually solving for the minimum standard deviation. You can actually just take this equation, um, actually the one with the square root, and you can optimize it using calculus. And if you do that, you get that the choice variable, so a and B, the weight in A and the weight in B are going to add up to 100%. So if you know how much you put in B, you know how much to put in A, etc. So you can, you know, optimize this, set this up, differentiate it equal to zero, and then solve for one of these choice variables, A or B. And this is the formula you get. The variance of A minus the... Um, standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B times the correlation between A and B divided by the variance of A plus the variance of B minus two times the standard deviation of A times the standard deviation of B times the correlation between A and B. And so I did that here. Okay, if you plug this in, and this you can find this formula in any standard uh, portfolio theory textbook and in a lot of upper level investment textbooks as well. And if you do that you get the optimal weight is 20 percent in B and if you plug into this equation you're going to get that the minimum standard deviation is 2.68 percent. So what I've done here is I have some data. Okay, 8 percent for uh, the expected return for A, 14 percent for B, um, 0.03 or 3% standard deviation of A, 0.06 or 6% standard deviation of B, and I'm going to assume a correlation of zero. And I just put some hypothetical numbers in here. Suppose we had 50% in A and 50% in B. Uh, here I put in that the two have to add up. So this plus this have, has to equal 100%. So this is what, this is not the minimum variance standard deviation, but that's what we're going to solve for. And the expected return is just the weighted average of these two, which is easy to see. 8% plus 14% is 22% divided by 2 is 11%. But let's see what the minimum variance portfolio looks like. So even though it's minimum variance, we're actually solving for the standard deviation. We can use a function called solver in Google Sheets. So I have it already installed here. But if you don't have it installed, you can go to add-ons get add-ons, and then type in solver, and then you'll find it here and you can just install it um, into your Google Sheets account. So let's run this program here. Solver, start, and we have choices. We can maximize, we can minimize, we can set the value equal to something. I want to minimize. And what do I want to minimize? I want to minimize my standard deviation here. So this is what I, I want to minimize. What's in F13? And what variables do I want to change? I want to change, I want to tell it which variables to change. I want to change what's in F10 and what's in F11. So I want to change these two variables. I also want to have a constraint in here. So I'm going to add a constraint. And the constraint is, is that this 
in F12. And I can tell it has to be equal to 1. Okay, I tried 100%. You have to put 1 in. I believe in, in Excel, which also has a solver function, you have to put 100%. If you put 1 in, it doesn't work. I'm going to click OK. And I've set my, I should see my constraint there, F12 equals 1. You also have some options here. So if you click on these options, it tells you the uh, convergence and things like that. But the important one is, is I want to assume non-negative. I don't want you to buy 120% of A by selling short 20% of B. So I'm going to click in this assume non-negative. Okay, so I have the variables in. When I click solve, it will hopefully change these numbers and we'll get the same value we have here. So let's try that. Let's click on solve. Okay, what it's doing, it's iterating through looking for the minimum um, standard deviation. And once it solves it, we'll change these numbers here. So let's see what we get. In fact, that is exactly what we get. 80% in A, 20% in B adds up to 100%, and we get exactly the same uh, standard deviation or minimum standard deviation. So the expected return for this portfolio is going to be 80% of A plus 20% of B, and you're going to get 9.2%. So I hope you found this helpful. And again, you may have to add the extension solver to be able to do this, but it works quite nicely and it's actually a lot less cumbersome than, you know, deriving this equation or just plugging into this equation.